Hey everybody, this is Fragger here for the final episode of N+. We've been in 45 through 49. First off, this level here, very easy as long as you just go for the door. If you want to grab the gold, it of course is going to make things a lot more difficult. But nothing you really can't manage. Just takes a while to do it. Now, Ever Upward is going to start a trend that we're going to see for the rest of these levels, which is... Everything on the surface is just a little more difficult because you got to time your jumps. You got to make sure you don't do things too fast. While the whole aesthetic itself is not much harder, but it just feels a little harder. Or you got something like here in Retribution, which is if you go fast, you're not going to have any missiles. So I decided just to play around a little bit, make a missile come out there so that I can make it a little more difficult. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about, that you can easily go straight up get the get the button to go straight down now boom is actually a very difficult level here i don't really make it look that difficult but you kind of need to keep this missile alive because the more it's just kind of following you and what you're doing the better off you are because when it's going to shoot a missile directly at you it's a lot tougher to dodge requiem for a ninja is actually pretty difficult because you mainly have to keep an eye on what's going on in the area you're in, in the area next to you you also may notice that the ones that are floating that are going um, clockwise are all moving in sync, which actually makes it a little more difficult being the fact that all the ones that are moving counterclockwise are moving in different directions. Pretty much it's a lot of things you got to keep your eye on, but as long as you realize that the ones that are going clockwise will never hit you on the bottom, it's a little more easier to manage. You just got to be very careful when you're jumping to adjust your stuff. The Child Out of Wedlock is another one of those that seems very difficult and is only difficult if you decide to go for everything. And it's another one of those levels that you don't really need to. It's one of those just kind of bragging rights kind of things. So just easily go up here, grab the button, get out. The only time you bump into a problem is if you spend a little too much time digging around and you can easily get trapped by a drone. Other than that, pretty easy. The only slightly difficult part here is this right here where you don't really have a lot of room to glide your way down because of the mines so easy stuff this on the other hand is actually an incredibly tricky level kill switch is one of those that looks very easy but is in practice very difficult it also kind of tricks you but the first thing you have to do is hit these two buttons so you can open up the entrance to where the door button is and this part here not too difficult now this on the other hand Air Control 101, um, when you hit the ground, you gotta make sure you run in the direction of the slope so you don't crumple when you hit the ground. Kinda trick the sniper there, trick it again here, and then go out the bottom. Now, you cannot climb up those walls. I spent a good 20 minutes seeing if I could actually do it, and you just can't. You actually have to take this trip here on the left hand or the right hand side. All depends on which way you wanna go, and this is very tricky wall climbing here. I spent a little time there in the beginning just to get my pace so that I can, you know, hit these without having to adjust too much all the way up. But then once you got that down, you can easily make your way to the door. After that is Trench Run 2. Now, Trench Run 2 can be played a few different ways. It can be played a lot slower where you pay attention to where the drones are because you hit a big button and a little button. The big button opens up the gates and the little one closes the previous gate. Now, the way that this works is that you can actually trap the drones in there and make your trip on the way out. Or you can do it the way I did here, make it more interesting and deal with them all at the same time. It'll take you about the same amount of time in the end. It's just one's easier and one's harder. And the other thing is, is I was only able to reliably get the gate to close on that last section there. But this time I just didn't, so I just said, screw it, let's have some fun. So pretty much you just wanna follow one of the drones all the way back and just dodge drones coming at you you can see all in all not a terribly difficult level it just looks more intimidating than it is exposed faces is another level that i felt that would make, make it a little more difficult for myself because see here there's two sets of gates and um i kept it wide here so you can kind of see what i'm doing because that first one there of course just unlocks gold and this one when i get over there jump one of course when they meet in the middle and then don't, don't do that. I took a little too much time there. Opens the other side of it. So you can skip these first two buttons if you really want to. But since I'm unlocking part of the level and not just dicking around really, spending too much time, and it makes the level more interesting, I feel, let's do it. But it still has this here, which is a very difficult jump. You have to get the right amount of momentum <laughs> and you have to do it at the exact right time. 
which is like right there where that um, left drone was is a good time to make that jump. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. But uh, let's go reap our spoils here with this gold. Also, you really want to be careful going back down because yeah, this can get very tricky if you're not careful. Oh, this one. There we go. Also, uh, I'm not going to lie. I had a death here where uh, I was going down this slope here on the right-hand side. Hit a little too hard and kind of crumpled there on the uh, slant. Kind of made me angry. Now, Assault in the Great Fork Wall. This is a really cool level because watch this. Bam. A lot of bit of fun there. And timing, if you do that perfectly, you can make that missile slam into the wall if you don't if you just kick up a little faster than i was doing then you're able to outrun it to the door that's it for 647 there for the taking is one that pretty much looks more difficult than it is and as long as you make jumps and you don't linger too much in an area you're kind of okay just take it like this you need to take the left or the right hand side i had too many issues on the right hand side so i just took the left and that's it for that pain lane Another kind of difficult level, mainly because you have that missile there up on the top, which all you think you really got to do is just pay attention to where it is and making sure that it doesn't stay alive for very long. You can also do this, which I felt was actually a really easy way to get rid of um, two missiles because by the time you're kicking up on the wall in the middle, it can't see you. So you kind of negate a second missile, which is nice. The Abyss is another fairly difficult looking level. All you gotta do is just control your descent, hit the bouncy pads where you can, and just dodge them all the way down if you really want to. Well, you know, if, if you don't want to, you're just gonna hit them and die. <laughs> and then just kick your way up. Be very careful how hard you hit these because you can obviously hit the bouncy pad and uh, right there, go down too far and you'll hit a drone. Transgate is a level that almost doesn't belong in this section. This is a lot easier than everything else. This really would have been a good level to place maybe 10 episodes beforehand to really nail home how missiles act. Because the way that you really need to play this level, which is the way that I'm playing it, really teaches you how missiles work. And it doesn't really belong here. And I kind of like the fact that it's, you know, one way then back. It's one of the more better ones of those. But in the end, it's kind of blah. I mean, you really, you can get most of those gold. It's fairly difficult to do so. And that's only where the difficulty lies is in getting all the gold and not screwing up like I just did there. That's kind of it. Pretty blah level. Let's finish it off. And then we get to another fairly blah level, which is the Return of Forever, which all you really have to do is just take your time, go through these. There's plenty of gold where you're not really going to run out of time. If they had taken out all the gold, this would have actually been a fairly tense level. But the gold really shows you where their paths are very, very easily. And it's also a good marker on where to jump. And it also makes sure that you're kind of swimming in time here. So... Kinda it. <laughs> That's it for 47. Time to get to the second to last episode. 48. Which is pretty difficult. Starts off with a level to give you a bunch of gold. Because you kind of need it for this. It's not as bad as what we're going to get in the next episode. But here we're pretty well off actually. So just grab a fair amount. Don't take too much time. End in the upper hundreds and you're okay. The Hidden Fortress is one of the harder levels in the game mainly because the two different ways that you can attack this and the fact that they both play very differently if you take on the bottom like here you really need to make sure that you jump over the missile launcher and keep a pace you can sling your all the way up i don't here but i just try to keep the missile alive long enough to where i can kick up to the top and destroy both of these missiles at the same time and then just a little bit of dodge and take care of that one the top one is no longer an issue now and then you just got to make sure you time that missile there correctly and also make sure that that chaser there is in the opposite direction that you're going because there's no way to jump over it if you take the top missile you're going to be kind of doing almost the same thing in reverse which is kind of interesting too and easy does it here is also a very interesting level because the way that these drones act is 
they kind of change direction, well not change direction, they change where they're standing all the time. So you want to be chased for most of it, like I'm going to be here where I'm being chased, being chased, and all of a sudden it's no longer an issue. That allows you to take a little bit of extra time, and it also makes it a little disorienting, because it's like, once again, being chased, no longer an issue. And it's when it's no longer an issue, then you're being chased is where things become hairy, which is what this section here is. So you're being chased, and then it's no longer an issue, then you're being chased again. So it's difficult, and it takes a little bit of practice to nail that level here. Don't Lose It Now is one of those that you'll die if you just stress it out too much, because it's just an easy climb all the way up, all the way down. And if you are really quick and are a little lucky with your uh, landings, you can actually do the bottom area with all the mines. They're a little compact and the, and the drones move a little too quickly, but you might be able to do it. And also, if you're really good at your descents, you can fall straight down through that gold and not have to worry about doing these kicks down. But I wanted to have a little bit extra gold just in case the next levels took me a little too long. Spoiler alert, they don't. But yeah. Pretty much done here and going to just do a descent now after these gold and bam done with that now let's see what the last level of this episode is like after a little sigh of relief there <laughs> pinched this level's fairly tough mainly because each of these sections are a little bit different but similar enough to where it might trick you into thinking that they're similar pretty much just got to keep an eye on everything but then you bump into a problem here this area is just wide enough and just tall enough that you have to use the door to kick off of it. And the return is a little tricky because you have to be very close to one of those drones to make it out. And then here you need this momentum here, which also will make you very close to those two drones to make it out. If you're able to get the momentum a little sooner around the door, you'll be able to make a much safer jump. But I was never able to pull it off. So I had to do it that way. Now moving on to the last episode, we have Accelera. This level here is once again one of those that is a lot more difficult than it looks. That jump there caused me to die a ton, mainly because it's a little tricky and your pacing has to be perfect. Now, I don't really have a ton of gold here. You may, I may be saying that, and you may not believe me, but I don't. You want to be in the upper 120s if you can, so grab as much gold and Accelera as you can because this level here is a waiting game. There's not a ton of gold in here, so you don't really need to grab a bunch. Just kind of hang on this bouncy pad and deal with this missile launcher as long as you can. And keep an eye on those drones down there. And then once that final drone is gone and the missile is moving up, you can get past it a little quickly, deal with this, and be very careful here. It's very tricky if you just go a little too fast and you kind of want to move fast in this whole episode because of the level after this. But it's very easy to kill yourself just through momentum. Now here, this is a level that is only difficult if you know what's coming because this level is pretty easy. The problem is it's just tricky enough and you have to play it fast because of the next level. So you end up making a lot of mistakes. Or, you know, if you're me and you're playing like I do, you make a lot of mistakes. And I'm spending a little too much time here and there, mainly because of this drone here just takes a little too much time for my liking. But we're almost done. We just got to make the trip back, which is pretty easy as long as you don't make some really stupid mistakes, which I'm known to do in my recordings almost like there. Damn. And this part here, where if you're just trying to move too fast and you try to kick off the left-hand side to run past that chaser, you're going to die doing that. You need to kick off the right-hand wall. And you kind of want to be going through this gate at about 80 seconds. Why? This level. Amazing Race is a very long level. The nice thing is, is that most of it is fairly open to you at the start, so you can practice individual sections. Also, you may want to grab this gold here in the beginning. You can grab it at the end, but oof, it's little hair raising doing that, especially when you're running low on time, which you're going to be running low on time. All of these little vignettes you have to go to to get all of these buttons, and you pretty much have to do in the order that I'm doing it, are all fairly difficult in their own right. Compounded together, you're going to be making a lot of mistakes based on, oh dear god, I am still alive, how did I survive this? Also, with very dickish mind placement in some very specific areas coming up, 
to the point where this will take most people a very long time to get through. It took me a long time to get through here, both times I've done this. And this part here is one of the reasons. This sniper seems to have a mind of its own on when it wants to track you and when it wants to fire. And a lot of my deaths were because of that. Getting past him now isn't too easy there, but getting to the other side is. Now getting through these drones here isn't too bad. You just gotta be a little bit quick here with your wall kicks because yeah, you can see there, there's a very tight window. Getting back from this area isn't too bad because you get a little bit of gold here for your reward, but you're still dealing with some drones and a chaser. So you gotta be very careful. And we have to make our way back to get the door button because we finally unlocked our ability to get the damn door button. And you also may notice how, how low our time is right now. Yeah, it's getting kind of low. And getting past this chaser here on the way back is a very tricky endeavor. Yeah, we're getting to the 30s here. Now, this part here, very tricky. Do this like I'm doing here, and you want to get to the second area because jumping back from that chaser is actually very difficult. And then you hit the door with 23 seconds. Hot damn. Getting below 10 isn't good because the ultimate isn't a very difficult level as long as you have a decent, well, an okay amount of time going into it. You can see here I'm doing okay with time, but you have to run through this area and you know, you don't really want to be too low on time when you're getting into it. Now, why is this level so difficult? This level here is difficult just in the fact that if you are slow in any way, you are just screwing yourself over. And you can be stuck in this level for a while if you don't know how to move through these kind of areas quickly. I moved through this fairly quickly, and you'll see here on the left-hand side, I barely made it past those chasers about to enter. And once, sorry, drones, and once those drones enter, you're fucked. You cannot enter, you cannot exit this level once they're inside that corridor. But that does it for the main game, yeah, it's bit us back to the main menu. But we're not exactly done with that, this game. We go into the, uh, expert challenge. There's ten more episodes. So... I guess I'm going to be doing these next. See you guys in episode 50.